Hoping to pull himself together tonight is the apprentice reject, Ryan Hyphen Mark, whose chauffeur has delivered him to his date with Luke. Um, I've travelled all around the world, go to amazing places and get to see um, and experience different cultures. I don't really have a type, so I go for different kind of guys. And if I like you, then I like you. Now remember, hyphenator, age ain't nothing but a number. Shampoo's not up to scratch, is it, darling? What, what? Hi, how are you? Hi. Lovely, Lovely to meet you. Ryan Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Oh, how are you doing? Good, thank you. What was your name again, sorry? Luke. Luke. Nice to meet you, Ryan Mark. You look lovely. What are you drinking? Uh, this is a Bollinger. Oh, nice. Yeah? Do you I like do. champagne? I do, but I'm going to have a Sauvignon Blanc, I think. That's a very mature drink, isn't it? Was that a dig, hyphen? Hmm? How's your day been? Very busy, very tiring. Yeah, How about you? It's been busy. I've come up on the train today from Worthing, so... Oh, Worthing? Yeah, so near Brighton. Do you know it? Oh, Brighton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People in Brighton, they tend to be very, you know, hippie, long hair, yeah. peace signs. But the seagulls yeah. and the people... <laughs> the hippie seagulls. Yeah, it was all a bit too much. Oh, yeah, there's probably seagulls. I mean, seagulls, more like beach gulls. Are they ever at sea? <laughs> but you know what really annoys me? Go on. And this is a big thing for me. Yeah. The smell? Yeah. Because I found when I went to Brighton, yeah. everyone stunk. Uh, what? OK. Right, it seems like he's moved on from insulting his dates to insulting entire cities. What makes my mind boggle sometimes is what people do in the morning. Mm -hmm. As soon as I get out of bed, I always have to make it. Mm. Because I just think I set you up for the day. And I'm not... I just... I like things to be tidy. And then... Um, have breakfast, have a coffee. Do you ever change it up a bit? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I plan to go for lunch with friends in Brighton. Oh, not them smelly b****. Sorry, Brighton. His words, not mine. Hemp. And then I might go shopping instead. The impression I get from you is that you have a very... Don't say boring. ...conservative... Phew. ...regimented lifestyle. Like, maybe on the side of a bit boring. Oh, for f**k's sake, Ryan Mark, hyphen dash. Do you think I'm boring? I wouldn't say you're boring. You literally just did. Like your morning routine sounds drab. Posh for boring. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. You should try an arancini ball. <laughs> Here we go, ball joke alert. I'm not going to sink to that level. <laughs> there you go. I want to see how you eat the ball. Why is he holding it up like a dog treat? Why? <laughs> just to see. Don't do it, Luke. Don't do it. Don't. There you go. Oh, he's done it. Good boy. Good boy. Mm. How's it going? Your balls are lovely. Oh, Luke, you're better than that. Are they soft? Tasty? Your arancini balls were lovely. Really liked it. Do you like it down the throat? <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> I reckon that's a definite maybe hyphenator. What do you think about age and age gap? Is it important? Oh, balls. If you get on with someone, there's that rapport, things like that. I think age is just a number. You know what? I'm 21. I'm 34. Do I not look 34 or do I look older? <laughs> and the answer you are looking for here is 29 and not a day more. I think you look 34. Oh, thanks. That's it, Luke. Get it down, you mate. I feel like maturity for me is integral. Yeah. So you could be 80 years old, yeah. very childish, yeah. like my grandfather. So I won't be dating my grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. I wonder where it was going. So I kind of feel like you have a fun yeah. side to you, even Absolutely. though you're old. Mm. I feel like you have that youthful you energy. Saying I'm old. Yeah, pretty sure that's exactly what just happened, Luke. Did you say as long as <laughs> though you're old? I'm like, are you referring to me as being old? Could someone get Ryan High for Mark's butler a shovel? Ryan Mark, you're calling me old. I'm 34. Yeah. So, would you want to go on a second date? I'm sorry, what? Or are you like, hmm... Ask me now? Well, I'm just wondering, I'm just curious. Well, you know what, I need to... <clears throat> Think of a bullshit excuse quickly. Have a, um, what I like to do at the end of a date... Yeah. ...is have a sort of analyse. OK. Then I can uh, let you know, but it's a, okay. not a, it's not a no. Sounds exactly like one. So, it's a really lovely to meet you. You too. Should we go? Uh, yeah, let's. When it comes to whether I fancy Luke, I'd say no. I think the way that the date went, that he would like to see me again. 
Yeah, not sure that's going to happen, Luke. At times, I was a bit bored, I have to say. Well, thank you so much. It's so lovely to meet you. If you were up for a second day, that'd be great. Yeah. If not, then so be it. Luke asked me three bloody times about the second day. You really put me on the spot. Oh, what a bloody bastard. Jeez, release the hounds. Well, look, I had a great time. Have a, a wonderful evening. Cool. I put it in a way where I wasn't saying no, but maybe. But really, it's a no. It was nice to meet you. Yes, maybe see you Just again. Yeah. And uh, safe journey back to the seagull land. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you. I mean, that date last night, absolutely appalling. We need to pull him up on that right now. Yeah. And the man in question, Ryan Dashmark. He started out with some boardroom-level criticism of his date dad. So I would give Ryan Mark three out of ten. <gasps> I was going to score it two out of ten because I okay. don't like you physically. Yeah. When you said physically, I'm not into you. That was an intact. And followed it up with a swift one-two of rude b****** on his date with Luke. Come up on the train today from Worthing, so near Brighton. Oh, Brighton, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I found when I went to Brighton, yeah. everyone stunk. Poor bloke just thinks he's here for a chinwag. Come in. Little does he know. Hello. There he is. Hello, Ryan Mark. I'm here. Thank you for uh, taking our very last minute phone call. No worries, my pleasure. Do you know why you're here? Is it about that gilet? Uh, no. We've had the feedback through from Luke, and from where we're sitting, that date last night, it just came across as rude, crude, vulgar. Mm. You told him that where he lives and where he come from, he told him that people that live there smell. In Brighton, they do, yes. Oh, sh he's doubling down. But that's not OK. Well, listen, I'm always honest, and if anyone is going to date me, they need to realise that they will get some Ryan Mark honesty. And I'm going to say it how it is. And if he's too much of a wet wipe, I can't be dealing with that anyway. So I prefer not to ever see him again if he's crying over the facts I think people in Brighton stink. OK. <laughs> You're from Brighton, is that <laughs> And actually, her entire family. My... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. My family do come from Brighton. I didn't know that. OK. There's a difference between being honest and, and being rude. And disrespect begins mm. when the person feels offended. It's not about you. It's about what Luke thinks. I think if he's offended by that... You think it's plausible that he was offended? Potentially. So then you disrespected him. Right. You offended him yeah. knowingly. Yeah. That's the epitome of rudeness. It's banter. No. We can't have disrespectful behaviour in the agency. We need you to do better. OK. I'll try, guys. There you go. That's what I can do. I'm always getting in trouble. Anna and Paul were telling me to stop being rude, stop being nasty. I feel like I'm back at school, seeing the headmaster. Well, when you've been bollocked by sugar, I guess it's hard to take anything else seriously. Well, thank you for coming in. OK. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Did he just slam that door? This is something that must change.